All right, I'm gonna continue my deep dive into all things fall this last week in August. So come along with me. We're gonna make a cute pumpkin with a sign. I'm starting out here with a chalk pencil to kind of line out a big chunky pumpkin and a small wooden sign next to it. Next, I'm gonna take some Liquitex gesso and just base coat the entire design. So the pumpkin and the sign to kind of seal in the Santorini stone because they can be a little porous. And then I'm gonna take this territorial beige and fill in the wooden sign. So this is going to be the base of a little wooden sign that's kind of staked next to the pumpkin. While that brown paint is drying, I'm gonna take two different oranges, so a harvest orange and a jack-o'-lantern, and fill in the pumpkin. I'm starting with the harvest orange, which is slightly darker than the jack-o'-lantern, and I'm doing all of the outlines, so kind of those chunky lines that give the pumpkin its shape. And your lines don't have to be perfect here because the colors are gonna end up blending once we get all of the oranges on here. So I'm just getting a rough outline with the darker color. After I get all these outlines on, I'm gonna come back with the Harvest Orange and kind of thicken up each of these lines so it's nice and bold. Now I'm gonna come back through with the jack-o'-lantern orange and fill in all of the white space in the pumpkin. So you can kind of see the contrast between the two oranges. And for now, I'm just filling in the white space. Now I'm going to come back with more of the Harvest Orange and darken up those original lines that give it some nice dimension and then back and forth with the Jack-O-Lantern Orange as well as just taking the paintbrush with a little bit of clean water and blending the two oranges together so there's no super stark lines, it's just kind of this nice ombre blend into each other. Now I'm gonna come back to the wooden sign and I'm gonna use this crackle medium to try and create an aged look on the wood. So I'm gonna add the crackle medium on top of the territorial beige and let it dry to the touch because when I experimented with it a little while back, that was when I got the best results. Once this is dry, I'm gonna come back through with a chocolate bar paint, which is a darker brown, and put it on top of the territorial beige to see if we can create a wooden look. It 
It looks like I still need to play some more with this crackle medium because it's not doing exactly what I thought it would. So I'm gonna come back with a disposable eyeliner brush, which are very fine line brushes and some of the territorial beige and just create some lines in the wood so it has a nice aged wood look. So I'm putting the lighter color of paint and then also using the brush with some clean water to just kind of blend those lines in and create the wooden look. Now I'm gonna come back to that chocolate bar paint and put a little bit in a plastic paint palette and water it down to create a thinner version of this paint. And then I'm gonna use that disposable eyeliner brush and the watered down brown paint to create a little bit more dimension on the lines in our pumpkin. So I'm just kind of lightly brushing it on to each of those curved lines. And then once it dries, I'm gonna come back using the brush and some clean water to just kind of blend it in. And I love the look that this gave the pumpkin. take a brown Thule Art acrylic paint pen to draw the stem on my pumpkin. So just simple lines. Sometimes the paint pens, I feel like I have more control. I could have used brush, but I decided to use a paint pen. So I have a slightly different color brown than the wooden sign. Once I have this stem filled in, I'm going to take a green Thule Art acrylic paint pen and draw a leaf and some curly cue vines onto the pumpkin. I'm gonna take this spring green paint and just add a little bit of dimension to the leaf on the pumpkin. And then I'm going to come back to this spring green along with this holly branch, which is a darker green. And we're gonna create grass on the bottom of the design. So where the pumpkin and the sign, they're sitting in the grass. So I'm starting with the darker green and a thin paintbrush and just brushing on lines, brushing on lines. I took a thicker paintbrush and filled in the bottom of the grass so it was nice and solid and then I come through with the lighter green color to create dimension and you can kind of see the blades of grass. Now that we have this lush grass, I'm going to take a Posca PC1MR white paint pen and write hello fall on the little wooden sign. So I'm using script for hello and kind of a cool block lettering for fall. I'm going to come back and thicken the downstrokes on the script and then I'm gonna come back with a paintbrush and white paint and fill in fall. So the crackle paint kind of came back and bit me in the behind with these white letters and it started to do the crackling with the white letters. So I decided to cover that up by coming back through with some extreme hologram glitter paint and just putting that over the white letters. So it kind of covered up the cracks and gave it a little bit of that signature sparkle. Now I'm gonna take this 0.3 Uni Pin Fine Line Pen and outline the entire design. I tested these a little bit ago in a video and I did have some questions about if it smears when you seal it and I've used it with resin and it does not smear. I put resin directly on it without any in between and it has not smeared for me. So even if you're one of those people that's clinging to summer and doesn't want fall to come, I hope this rock makes you a little more interested in fall coming around the corner. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss future uploads. Come find me on Facebook or Instagram so I can see what you create. 
I'll see you next time. Take care.